Welcome friends, Lost Scarf here, and it's time for the one shot. Today we're playing Birthday's the Beginning. Now why it's called that is because in this game you're basically God. You're messing with the terrain, the temperature, and everything in the world to create life. You go from the beginning of life when it came from the sea, going to dinosaurs, and going to mankind. Pretty cool idea here. There's a the the story mode is a tutorial mode, and then there's free mode where you can just do whatever, and it is kinda nuts. This game is kinda complicated, but I really like the concept of it. It's an interesting idea. So it's from Arc System Works, Toy Box Inc., those are the devs. The publisher is NIS America. Those are the people behind Disgaea, behind so many other RPGs, Bravely Default, not Bravely Default, um, Phantom Brave, uh, La Pucelle, like a bunch of really good RPGs. This is an RPG, no, this is this is a world builder, god game. It's, a, it's an interesting game. There's also a challenge mode. And we're just gonna go into the second episode over here. And uh, we're going to make dinosaurs happen. So here we are. So in this game, we are this little Jocko looking guy. We are God, kind of, with our little buddy Navi. And they're going to tell us, they're navigating us on how to make things. In the first episode, we created this. We created these pools here. And, oh, see, and this mountain here, which looks really ugly. Now, in this world, your controls, you're moving around. I'm using a uh, 360 controller. This game will be on Steam and on PlayStation on the 9th in the North America. In Europe, it'll be out on the 12th. They have not announced the price yet. This get, We're, of course, putting the video out a little bit before release date because that's when the embargo ends. And I like the concept. It's not going to be for everybody, but it's pretty cool. Like, like let's, go, let's go down in here. So we got Scarlamites, Phytoplankton. We've got these... Uh, uh, Cyclomedusas. These are just really ancient stuff. They're trying to be accurate in a way, which is interesting. We got uh, Alarithrias, which are trilobites, or ancient trilobites. And we have our first, uh, whoops. We have our first thing that has come onto land, and that is a Bragoanthia, which is a fern. Now, the, the way this game works is with the ability to raise up the land and drop the land. And as we level up, we can do more area. We also get, you see HP also get increases as well. You level up by creating new life and capturing them to, to study them. When you raise up the land, you make the world colder. When you lower the land, you make the world warmer. And the reason for that is uh, this. I can remember. Oh, here we go. This is the reason. Magma. That's the reason. So we can just see just how we've affected the world like this. So that's why it gets warmer as you create more sea. So you can try to create like a Earth-like planet by just having a whole lot of ocean if you want. Right now I got 70% water, 93% land, so I can just do a lot of that. But since we're in the tutorial, we gotta follow what Navi wants, and if we want dinosaurs, definitely wanna follow. So, what do we gotta do, Navi? Use the river source. Okay, so we're making a river, so check this out. We're gonna make a river, so raise up. You have to be a little bit above land to do the river, and I might have screwed this up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I'm screwing this up a little. There we go. Going out, I'm making a long, long river. Now this is long enough. Okay, so now we're gonna use items. So we have items here. And we can use evolution, mutation, we can heal ourselves. We can make it rainy in a place for a thousand years. Actually for a hundred thousand years or really hot to make desert and rainy areas, moisture. We're gonna make a river. So check this out, river being used. Bam! So we've made river, and as you can see, it creates kind of just grassy moisture around, so that's pretty cool. It's, it's created moss, because we have a river, and we can connect rivers, we can make waterfalls with rivers. But we're going to just go down the line, and we've created a bigger river. And we're just going through the dialogue here. Now they want us to make Pikia, so let me just finish this up first. So I am uh, making this whole river here. Go over here. So there we go. Now we've made a little waterfall. You can make a really tall river if you want. So you can have a big old waterfall. Now, start. Going over here, library. So here's the things we've made so far. You can see the factors. And it shows you what temperature and stuff it needs to, to come to life. And also shows you its adaptation temperature and everything. Just how far it can go. Now they want us to make Pikea. Pikea. Now in order to make that, we need to have sea level. We need a certain temperature in the sea, and we need to a, and it needs to be just in that general area you see there. So let's make some sea level here. So first up, just show Pikia again. Conditions for Pikia: water 46 degrees. Sea uh, needs to be with has out needs to have algae in it, and a minimum of 18,000 Cyclomedusa in there. Because the way it works is the chain the chain of life. 
things have to eat other things to live. So we have plankton and other algae for the cyclomedusa. Cyclomedusa are, of course, jellyfish. They're going to make the picaea, which is going to eat the jellyfish. So that's how it works. So we need to continue that chain. So we got all this here. So we're going to make some more C because we need more C. So here we go. Drop down to that many levels for C. So that many. So whoop, 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 whoop. Just dropping down the world a little bit more. Make it a little more shallow. Not shallow, but deep. And we want to have that plant have room to grow. So put this up a little bit. There we go. And so we're just creating the world. Dump this down a little more. There we go. Oh, I'm out of energy. Now, when you're out of energy, you got to go back out and rest. And when you rest, the world progresses. You can also just force the world to progress as well. So the world's progressing right now. You can see everything's growing or good, getting eaten. And we can use camera to go in and out. Now we need Cyclomedusa to grow. Cyclomedusas are growing and not growing, so that's a concern there. Now we're just going to speed through and hope Cyclomedusas keep growing. Cyclomedusa is growing in population, that's important. You see, things are just evolving and growing and such right now with all the water and everything. Astral zone, what is that? Let's go in there, go over it. And our mini-map shows us where it's grown. There's the pink dots, so we're going to go over there. And we have a new plant! And what is this plant? This plant is a brown that underwent a mutation, migrated to plants where water is scarce. So that's what this is, so that's pretty cool. And we can uh, go right back out. I'm just going to go collect some items here. The yellow dots are items. So those are things we can use. Seeds of evolution and such. This over here. There's nothing there. Okay, so... Okay, yeah, picky. Okay, so what's our progress right now? Whoops. Our progress is we're getting more Cyclomedusa. We just need more Cyclomedusa. So speed up time. It is growing and everything. Growing more. They're growing more. We just need a certain... Oh, Cyclomedusa are in decline. They're still in decline. They are climbing up again. Cyclomedusa, come on. Hit that threshold for us. And it's not only Medusa we have to keep in mind, but we have to keep in mind other things to stay alive. Blue gla Gamma has grown, Autumn Fern, so plants are growing right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Elothrus went extinct, I wasn't paying attention. Oh no! We, lo we lost the trilobites, they're dead. Uh oh. Oh no, oh crap, I might have gone a little too fast on that. So, all the li living creatures here died. Oh no, this pool's still alive, but with its jellyfish and everything, but I lost the Elothrias, which is the trilobites, so that line of evolution is dead. Oops. And we leveled up again, which gives us more HP and able to just mess with more land. Let's just check out another thing that has evolved out here. These trees. But uh-oh. Oh, crap. Are conditions not being met that I need them to? Whoops. Going over here. So... For Pikea, let's see here. So sea algae, we got plenty of that. We need 18,000 cyclomedusa. And we're close, but we're not there yet. We might need more sea. So let's go ahead and just create more sea here. Oh, that's another thing. Get more XP there. There we go. And, oh my god. No, no, other way, other way, other way. Create more sea. Create more sea for things to grow. Because apparently uh, things are not working out. So... There we go. Just drop in the world a little bit more. Have more C for our things to grow. And let's hope. Now we can also speed things up. Where is... There they are. Cyclomedusas. Let's help out the Cyclomedusas here. I can use items here. Uh, mutation. A seed that promotes evolution in existing organisms. Capture 15 organisms and it will appear on the queue. Okay, so... We're going to use this. We're going to use a seed of evolution to help out the Cyclomedusas. And here's hoping it works out. Going back out. And we're going to speed up. And Pikea have been born. Yes. Happy birthday. Pikea was born. If you look at game info, you'll see what you need to do from this point. You might have noticed that there are certain rules that regulate the birth of life. Though new life will be birthed naturally if you create the right environment, certain conditions must be met in order to create a significant change in an ecosystem. Run to trouble. It's my job to help you. Okay, so there you go. It takes a lot for sea temperatures to change because it is the sea and everything. Now our next goal is the sea organism Astraspis. I feel like people who are really into just 
Evolution Everything would really like this game. So now, now if we had to do that, condition for Astrophis, minimum bajillion Pikea, 41 water, sea level. Okay, so, all right. Let's go back in. Let us create more ocean. Look at that thing! Oh, that, that just happened. That just happened. So that is Anomalocaris. And that thing apparently just ate the Pikea. That is concern, because I need the Pikeas to uh, make things. It's, it's eating another Pikea. Okay, that's a concern. That's a, that's a concern. Okay, we got the Anthro Medusas as well. So life is, is happening. Life is happening. Okay, so, and being eaten, evidently. I think that evolution might have been a mistake that I did. Now, I think we should combine these Cs, but hold on a second. What's this? This is a Heliophyllum. Okay, let's go ahead and connect these oceans here. Connect the seas here. And we will see what happens by doing that. Right now. Okay, so here we go. Speed up time. The uh, Calliums have gone extinct. Whoa, oh, stop. Uh, Calamites are growing. Pikea are in decline. Do the Pikea stay in decline? Pikea have gone extinct! That is very bad! No! Oh crap, those things ate all the Pikea. So, we have now failed the conditions, and now we've entered free mode, basically, because the Pikea have been eaten. Ah, crap. Now, that's not good. That is very not good. And because the Pikea are gone, those other guys are dead too. Though I kind of just failed conditions just now. Oops. Oops right there. Garf obviously needs to learn this game better. Like a lot better. So, uh, yeah, they're they're dead. So, uh, we, uh, we have to restart, I think. I don't, if you can recover life, I don't know how. I really don't know. If you can, I have not been able to pull that off. All I know is, um, they're extinct and it's my fault for not figuring out a way to separate the groups that were happening there. So, uh, my uh, bad there. My super my bad, they're dead. And that's, that's, I, I did a bad job being God. I did a very bad job being God there. And that's on me. That is definitely on me. So, since I screwed this up, we're not gonna get dinosaurs the organic way. We're gonna get dinosaurs a different way. So let me just save really quick and see if I can recover this later. Yeah, over there, okay. So back to the title screen, I'm going to show you challenge mode. Where well, there's already dinosaurs, so I don't have to worry about it. Okay, so here's challenge mode. Also free mode, you start with like a clean slate. You can also load in your levels. Or you can load in the land you have currently and work at it from that point on. It's an interesting thing you can do. Challenge mode. So we're going to do this. Birth of Tyrannosaurus. Birth Tyrannosaurus and capture it. Dinosaurs are multiplying, but Tyrannosaurus has not yet been born. It should appear in the, if the current temperature is maintained. But the temperature changes in the cube are more extreme than normal. So here we are. We got ourselves a little planet here. Welcome to the Dino Challenge. Please name your name. Uh, we'll be Avatar this time. There we go. Detail of the challenge. Your objective is to capture Tyrannosaurus. The cube's size is mini. At this stage of life, dinosaurs are currently multiplying. However, Tyrannosaurus has not yet been birth. birth. The cube in this challenge uh, will undergo temperature changes at triple the normal rate. Even a minor change in the terrain can just drastically alter the temperature, so be careful. All right, let's the challenge begin. So, conditions for Tyrannosaurus are 46 degrees C, moisture 4 to 70%, minimum 37,600 Velociraptors, and 28,200 Paleosaurus. We almost have that many. Okay. How the hell do I pull that off? Okay, so let's go in the world. And we got dinosaurs! Yeah, little dinosaur. Look, look at this guy. Look at this little guy. What is he? He's an e Eoraptor, so we need him to evolve into uh, Velociraptors. We got Stegosauruses. We've got Triceratopses. Look at this guy. Look what we got. Look what we got. We got ourselves a... Is it a Brontosaurus or different? No, it's a Brachiosaurus. Okay, there you go. Look how big he is. Look how cute he is. He's a big cutie. Okay, so... Go over here. And over here, of course, is the Paleosaur. Right? It's Paleosaur, yeah. Uh, Palisiosaur. Pl and then Stromolites. Stromolites still exist in this one? Holy crap. 
down here, what do we got? We got Pelacanthus. Oh my god, I didn't even think about going this deep and just having things grow there. Oh man, I should figure that out. Okay. So, there's all these different dinosaurs happening right now, and we need to mess with temperature to evolve Velociraptors. So, first up is, do I have a seed of evolution here? I got rivers and everything. No, I have seeds of mutation and evolution. There's all these different stones you can use. How was this? Vigorous vegetation, sunlight, cold, I can do global cooling, global warming. I can make a rainbow. Protects the organism in organisms from the environment, but also renders them sterile. Ah, uh, uh, let's not do that. Bad. Okay, so let's mess with the temperatures a little bit, then, right? First things first is you go to, uh, let's see here. No, I'm tired. Library. Library. Go to dinosaurs. Here we go. We got these guys. Now, you see there's hidden things right there. Look at the different things you can make in this game, by the way. Look how far you can go. Look how far you can go. There's a monkey! You can make a monkey, you can make humans! Look at that! Cavemen! Probably more rural, and then modern humans? You can make a doggy! You can make a doggy! Probably a wolf. Oh, oh, various doggies! Oh my god! You can make bears! See? So we're going from the start of life to where we are now. Hey, look a froggy! You can make froggers! Turtles! Snakes! Oh, they're so cute looking in silhouette. Not that though, that's a shark. But... Spiders! Butterflies! Look at all the things you can eventually make! I am a hype! I, I really want to play this game a lot. Because look at all the... A little ducky! He made a little ducky! Oh my god! Dude, I'm hype. I am hype for this. Bend on. Another ducky right there. Oh my god, there's so many life forms you can make. But we're trying to make a ton. Ty Tyrannosaur bleh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. The Velociraptor is what we need to make. And it shows us. So how do we make a Velociraptor? They come from the Eoraptors. So we need to get... 39 to 49 uh, temperature and a moisture of 10% to 464. Okay, so what are we at right now? Our moisture is a little too high, it looks like. Oh, unless we evolve them over here. Ah, look at him, he's eating, he's eating grass. Okay, so... Right now things are a little too... What's the word I'm looking for here? A little too wet for the Eoraptors, if we're reading this correctly. So, in order to make a Velociraptor, we need moisture to go down a little bit so we can use sunlight to do that uh and the temperature 39 to 49 is uh we're we're good on temperature so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna try to do this i'm gonna use uh a little bit of sunlight oh whoops wrong button there we go so this area is gonna be very warm so let's go back out and see what we did so here we go speeding up time Okay, things have happened. Oh my god, look at that! Oh wow, Pikeos are alive here. Okay, so go back. Go back in. Look what we got, guys! We got a pterodactyl looking son of a... What is that thing? It's called a Eudomorphodon. Uda, Uda, oh my god, that's so cool. And we got, of course, the little uh, these little guys still. The, uh, what the... Can I go down there? There we go. The Eoraptors. But what else do we have here? We have ourselves... Oh, that was close. We have ourselves some Parasmith Titions. Okay. And over here is a... Oh, wait. Do we have Velociraptor? We got Velociraptor. Good. Okay, we got Velociraptor. We need the population to go up. So let's go back out. And let's evaluate here. Uh, where is the Paleosaurs? Don't see anything about that. Let's just go through time some more. Velociraptors are on the rise. Don't... No, there's frogs now. Para... There's... 500,000 frogs, holy crap. Stegosaurus is on the verge of, uh, of giving out and going extinct, so is Brachiosaurus. Probably because of all the raptors. Now, I have to go in and try to figure out what could those guys want to survive. So, looking over here. Also, huh, okay. Can I... No, nope, I ain't gonna do anything. We got Eoraptors, we got Velociraptors. These guys are in decline, though. And they all give out, we might be in trouble. Or are they supposed to just help? No, no, no. If they all die, well, then there's no more food chain. So, you'd have to go over here. Go look at the, uh, the library. And, of course, look at Triceratops. What is he like as far as temperature goes? He's good on... Well, we want to change moisture, it looks like. Adaptable temperature, 61. 
Uh, they're still in a good position, so I'm not 100% sure what's killing them horribly. That's how good I am at this game. Now, we we do have Velociraptors growing. We have Plesasaurs there. Nothing's really changed with them, but these guys are dying. Now, what's going to happen is if I keep speeding this up, all those guys are going to go in decline. Then what are the Velociraptors going to eat? Just checking. Yeah, okay, what's happened here? Autumn Firm is on... Oh, crap. So, frogs are declining. Pigasaur is declining. Brachiosaur is very low. Triceratops is on the verge of extinction. Yeah, this is a challenge mode for a reason. So, these guys are on the decline. They're going to die out soon, and I am not smart enough to figure out how to not allow that to happen. But as you can see, we were getting there because there's still Pikeas out here and all these other things. So, we're getting close to making dinosaurs. We're getting close to it. I'm just bad at the game. So, like, tutorial mode would do it well, and you'll be able to make dinosaurs. But if you're me, you're not- oh crap. But if you're me, you're not, because I'm bad at the game. I'd like to get better at- it. But you see, we're manipulating terrain, we're doing all these different things to make life happen. And actually, I'm curious if I can help out with this. Obviously, making them stare won't do anything. What if I... Well, let's try doing some mutations on these dinosaurs. Mutate the Triceratops. Mutate the Stegosaurus. Mutate the Brachiosaurus. Well, I can't? I can't mutate them? I can't mutate either of them. Is that the final line of them, I guess? I can force mutate the, the ear raptors, but we already have Velocity, so it doesn't matter. Going over here, Peliosaur, uh, Plesiosaur. Well, we want to keep those guys. The next line will not help us out, so... Let's go back out and hope mutation helps out. And... What happened? Autumn Fern... Okay, so... Oh, we made different Ceratopses. We we evolved them. Okay, so we evolved them to different Ceratopses, which at least means that they're still going to survive. Then we got different kind of Stegosaur. We have a... What's it called? What is this thing? What have I captured? We have a Hesperos. So I guess they evolved to be able to deal with the situation a little bit better, so that's good. Leveled up from that. And going over to this guy... Another one has evolved to be able to deal with the situation. So with them alive, there'll be things that can be eaten, so that helps out. And I just cannot save this guy. He's gonna die. I won't be able to save him. That sucks. Checking conditions, we are only at 5,000 Velociraptor. Oh, we lost Velociraptor and Plesiosaurus. we've also lost. Not sure how we can help this out. I could probably give birth to more things, I guess. Um... What can I do here? Let's, uh, let's hope this works out. I'm gonna... Actually, the question is, what kind of temperature does this guy like? What kind of temp is it like? The Plezo Shore. So, let's go over here and find it. There it is, Plezo Shore. And it likes it 4 to 50, 28 to 60. Okay, 28 to 60 is what we're concerned about. 28 to 60, it's in a good position there. It just needs, I guess, more food to grow or something, but there's space for it. Not really sure what else I can do here with this. I'm just gonna have to hope and let's go back out and see what happens with everything. Time goes forward. Oh no, everything's oh no! Everything's going extinct! The Velociraptors are gonna go extinct too! We have failed the mission. As you can see, everything's going extinct. Let's just see how everything survives without us doing anything. Oh wow, they came back! They can't triceratops is Velociraptors. They're trying to survive out there. They're trying to survive without me. It's going. It's working out. There's a lot of them. Brachiosaurus is gonna go. He's gonna go extinct again. Eoraptors are going extinct. Trust it. Everything's going extinct because I don't know what I'm doing. They're just existing right now. And extinction of Velociraptors and Triceratops are in trouble. And I'm bad at this. Okay, so. Not that. Okay, go back in. How's it looking? Just Triceratops is now. And we got that guy there. And what oh, wrong button? And shoot, I just. Staff doesn't know what he's doing. Staff doesn't know what he's doing. That's a problem. It's a problem. But uh, you have to see dinosaurs. And there's just different things you can do. I just am not good at this. And I want to get good at it because I want to make. I want to try to go free mode from the start of all existence when it was just plankton and crap, two now times. I want to try to do that. That sounds really awesome. 
But there you go. If you're interested, that right there is the game. I do not know what the price of this game is. It's just uh, whether it's your thing or not. Um, yeah, so that is uh, Birthday's the Beginning. And I, uh, I like it. I like it a lot. I recommend it. I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but I'm having fun playing it. That's what's important, having fun, right? So, so there you go. That right there is the game. So that right there is the game. I had fun, hope, fun watching. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Having fun. If you like this video, give it a like. If you like this, if you just like us, give us a sub. Thanks for coming by, and see you next time.